Hello and welcome to Treble D. In this video we'll be putting together a traditional hip roof. A hip roof is basically the shape of a pyramid that's been cut in half. We'll be playing around with these Treble D roof profiles and using the follow me tool to create the roof. So here's our model. We've put it together by importing a sketch into SketchUp and placing Treble D modules straight on top of it. And here's our sketch. It's got a recurring theme, this carport, the turret, the dining room and the alfresco area. They all share a common size, which is 3x3 three three grid squares. So we'll use that as a theme to design the roof. This is our level 1 view. And here's level 2. The central turret has some highlight windows and there's a void that creates a double height ceiling in the main living room. So we'll go to the model scene to create the roof. We select a rafter to suit the span and also choose this eave overhang. We tap control to make a copy and move over to our model. I'll just drop them here for a moment and we'll build the roof on the ground so to speak. So we make a rectangle, 3x3 three three grid squares. And draw a line through the middle. Now we erase the stuff that we don't want and leave just three lines. This will give us uh, a path of travel for the follow me tool. So now I'll move the rafter into place, grab the guide post and get it centered onto the line. And now grab the E piece and drop it into the same spot. So we'll open up this E piece, select it all, Copy and delete. Delete the guide post. Open up the rafter and paste in place. Now rub out the junction and that's it. So just made a custom roof piece that we'll use throughout the house. And before we extrude the roof, I'll just take a copy so that we can use it again. Now we copy our path of travel, the three lines. Open up the rafter and paste in place. Now hit the follow me button, select the rafter and SketchUp will knock out the hip for us. And it should be white, not grey, so I'll select all and choose reverse faces. I'm just going to move the guide post over to the corner to make it easier to place. and I'm going to rotate it around 90 degrees. And that's it, there it is. So now we just populate our building with this shape. So I'll grab it by the guide post and move over to the model, making a copy of course, and starting off with the turret. I'll just park it here on top of the wall for the starters. Zoom in to get it accurate. All guide posts are 3 metres or 10 feet tall. So we grab the post and move it down 3 metres or 10 feet. 
This will get the roof sitting snugly on top of the wall. Now to complete the turret, we'll use the rotate tool, centre it on the peak and crank out a copy 180 degrees. Next step is the main roof for the upper floor. So we just grab a copy of our rafter and drop it into place above a guide post. Now we create a path of travel by creating a rectangle over the entire upper floor roof. So we just delete the face so we can see what's going on and copy the rectangle. Go back to our rafter, open it up, paste in place, follow me and SketchUp will create the extrusion. Now I'm going to bridge this gap in the roof with an Asian style layered hip. So we just copy the roof from the turret, move it over the gap and drop it down to the required height. We draw a line at the eave so we can wrap it around the turret and pull it out to the centre point. Do the same thing on the other side and double click. And now crank out another copy with the rotate tool. Move it around 180 degrees and that's it, it's looking good. So I'll use this turret roof again over the dining room. So we make a copy and move it into place. And now pull it into shape. And we use the same roof for the carport and the alfresco. Crank out some copies and pull them into shape using the same method. So we've put together the main roof, now we'll just finish off the verandas and the garage. So we'll use the same profile that we used earlier and drop it into place over a veranda post. And it's a bit too long so we just draw a new line with the pencil tool. and go to hide rest of model and trim the end off. Then we mark out a path of travel that runs around the corner 
then use the follow me tool to create the hip then push pull it into place We use the rotate tool to create three extra copies. Then move the copies into place and push pull them to suit. This balcony needs some attention so we scribe out a line on the veranda roof. And punch a hole in it. And we finish off the roof by filling in this hole over the garage. Triple D is a modular system so things just tend to work and fit into place more often than not. So we just select this piece of roof and drop it straight into the hole. Now we create a path of travel, use follow me, make another copy, flip it over, and that's it, it's all done. So please join us for the next video where we'll add a bit of extra detail on the hips, apply some extra textures, cue the funky music and play the animations. Cheers. If it's all too hard or if you just don't have the time, please feel free to contact us at Treble D. We have very modestly priced consultants who can help you out with construction drawings or any aspect of the design process. Cheers.